Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. So glad you could be here with me. Today we're taking a look at the Speedy B Adapter 2. This is the new and improved version of the Speedy B Adapter. And what this device does is it allows you to make changes to your quadcopter flight controller on your cellular telephone. And the way that it does that is it plugs into your flight controller and then you plug a battery into the device to power it and the and to power the flight controller and then it sends out a wi-fi signal to your phone so it uses wi-fi um, instead of the older version that used bluetooth now uh, what you need to do is download the speedy b app to your phone and this does work with both android and uh, apple phones and you uh, download that app and then you can connect and you do need to you know hook up to the Wi-Fi uh, the the Wi-Fi that's coming out of the uh, adapter so you need to get rid of whatever Wi-Fi you're on go onto that network and then you can use the app. Bottom line, would I recommend this? Yes, I would recommend this. And hey, if you want to help people build confidence and competence in the RC hobby, you can support this channel over at ko-fi.com slash rcwithadam. That's kofi.com slash rcwithadam. It's like Patreon, but better. Here's the thing. If you want to uh, greatly increase your capabilities when you are away from a laptop, this is a huge, huge help. Assuming, of course, that you have a smartphone. Smartphones are so common now, a lot of times we just kind of assume that, that everyone has a smartphone or if they have a phone, it's a smartphone, etc. But yes, you do have to have a smartphone. I'm not sure if this works with tablets. I have not tested that out. Uh, so we'll have to see about that, but it definitely works with phones. I tested it with my Android, a Samsung Note 8, as well as an Apple iPhone. What is it? It's a I can't remember what version it is because it's not my phone. I just borrowed it, but it works. It works with that. So the, look, the the real advantage of this thing is that you can connect to either Android or Apple and it's wireless. So you don't have to be right next to your quad and have a cable connected to your quadcopter. Now, I will say I did find it kind of annoying having to connect the connect the device to the uh, the flight controller and then plug in a battery and then if you want to do something like say you want to spin up the motors uh, and taking your props off before you do that then you need to get another battery and plug it into the quadcopter like to actually power the motors and everything so that that is kind of um, a pain uh, but it's you know it's not like not that big of a deal. Speaking of batteries, this does allow you to use uh, all the way from one cell to two cell, or or uh, excuse me, one cell to six cell, or one S to six S lipos. This one has an XT uh, sixty connector as well as a uh, oh gosh, I want to say this is a PH two connector. Uh, but I if I'm wrong, I will annotate it right now um but uh so you do have some choices there some options if you're like if you're flying little micros you can use that little connector that's very common with one cell batteries and of course if you have xt30 batteries you would just need to buy or make an xt30 to xt60 uh connector speaking of the connectors it's pretty funny actually the the uh the connector cable that comes with the device it's just a usb uh, micro usb to micro usb connector and on the device, it's one of the connection ports is labeled to flight controller. And I was very confused by this because I was like, well, wait a minute. Like, well, first of all, why is there another USB port that you just plug in the same cable to? And apparently you can't use either port. Well, the reason why that is, is because that second USB port that's labeled to flight controller, it's not actually wired to anything. It's, it's just a, it's just the, the metal port in order to kind of, uh, act as like a cable holder basically. So it's kind of fun. I mean, I guess it's clever, um, but it's also kind of funny. So you just got to make sure that, um, basically you pull out that one. So the one that says to flight controller, that's the one that you want to disconnect from, from the, uh, speedy B adapter two, and then plug it into your flight controller. And also here's a little breakdown of the construction, just in case you're wondering what is actually inside this yellow rectangle. Uh, it's, there's actually not much. It's, um, like the connect, the connectors, uh, make up the bulk of this and, and you really just have one, 
uh, one little board right there, which has some, you know, widgets and gadgets and who's it's and what's it's on there. And I'm sure somebody, somebody knows what all those things are, but I don't know what all those things are, but I know that they make this thing do what it does. Now, one cool thing that I want to mention here is you may not even need to buy this adapter if you want to connect your phone to your flight controller. In my case, I have an Android, it's a Samsung Note 8, and I can actually just use a uh, USB-C adapter, an OTG adapter they call it, an on-the-go adapter. Now, the setup that I'm using is uh, USB-C to USB-A and then USB-A to micro USB. And I just I just got this particular kind of adapter so I could connect it to other items. So this isn't necessarily the most ideal, but basically you need an on-the-go or OTG adapter to go from your phone to your flight controller, and then you can use either the SpeedyB app or you can actually use the Betaflight app, which is uh, not uh, officially released yet. So you can go to GitHub and check out the Betaflight app to use that as well. But I thought it was interesting that you could actually use the SpeedyB app, at least on the Android, uh, with a cable connection. So I'm not sure about the iPhone. I haven't tested that yet. I, I don't have the right cable. So if somebody knows, let, uh, leave us a comment and let us know. But I thought that was an interesting feature worth noting. Now, once you get into the SpeedyB app, uh, it's it's pretty easy to get in there. Sometimes you can have little glitches with like the Wi-Fi and the connection. So that is one downside um, to the Wi-Fi is it's not like you have a direct connection. So you could have some issues. Um, you, just, it just, you know how that stuff goes with Wi-Fi and, and wireless type of technology. It's really not that hard, but once uh, once you're in the actual app, you can do pretty much everything that you can do in Betaflight, as far as I can tell on the computer version and this is really really helpful when you are out in the field because there are certain things that either you can't do through your on-screen display um, menu the osd menu uh like uh, you know through your goggles using stick commands to 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 change settings in your flight controller um Either you can't do certain things or it's just way easier and way faster to do them when you have a screen and you can see the visuals and all that sort of thing. So like, you know, set. I mean, you could do a full quadcopter setup uh, on this app or you could update the firmware, all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't be able to do just through stick commands. Bottom line, I can definitely recommend this item and I definitely encourage you to get some way of connecting your flight controller to your phone so that way you have maximum uh, control over it even if you don't have a computer. Right now I think the SpeedyB Adapter 2 retails for about, I, I want to say $25, but uh, check the link in the description for uh, for updated prices to that. Big thanks to SpeedyB for sending this adapter to me. I really appreciate that. They sent this to me to test out and review and show you guys and get your opinion. So leave your comment below about what you think about the SpeedyB Adapter 2. Do you have one? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you uh, have another way of connecting to your flight controller? Let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again very soon.